Hi, in this video, I will be showing you how to install NPM and get started with a React application on Ubuntu 24.04 LTS. First, you'll want to open up the terminal and install NPM. We will do that by typing in this command. And go ahead and hit enter, and enter in your password. And go ahead and hit yes, and let it install. Once that is done installing, we'll go ahead and verify the npm installed. I'll type in npm version. And there you can see we have version 9.2. And we'll go ahead and verify node as well. And there we go. Now that we have npm and node installed, we're going to go ahead and run this command to actually install the utility to create a React app. We'll go ahead and hit enter with this command. And now we're ready to create an app. From here, we could cd into the correct directory that we want our app to be located. I'm just going to do this in our default directory. So the command we're going to run is create react app and then the name of our application. And once that is done, we can confirm that our application was created. We'll just type in ls to list our directories. And there you can see cloud. So we'll go ahead and cd into cloud and do ls. And then here is our application. So from here, we could actually start our do. And from here, we could actually start our default React app by typing in npm start. And there you go. Now to add an extra layer to this, we could also open this up in VS Code. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Go ahead and go to File, and go to Open Folder. And from here, locate the directory with your application. As you can see, mine is right here, listed as Cloud. So I'll go ahead and open that. And yes, we will trust the authors. And now we're inside our React app. You can see some of the folders here listed, and you could also see some of the files that are listed as well. Now to run our npm commands, we could go ahead and open up the terminal up here and select new terminal. And now we could run npm start and stop. And with that being said, you're all set up to create your React app and to make any changes that you need.